down in a second, we're going to show you how to access the dark web securely. Try not to get bored. Okay, so the dark web can kind of seem like a scary place, especially with all the legal activities and shady dealings, but it's not all doom and gloom. The dark web can be used as a platform for free speech, especially for those living under oppressive regimes like North Korea, Cuba, maybe Iran. To explain where the dark web lies in the vast digital ocean, think of the internet as an iceberg. You have the surface web, which is the piece of the iceberg that's exposed above the water. That's going to be all your index sites, your dot com sites, com sites that you use on a daily basis. And then the submerged portion of the iceberg, that's going to be the deep web all the sites that are unindexed by search engines and then all the confidential data that you can find in there, leaked data, things like that. And then the bottom hidden layer of the iceberg, that's going to be the dark web. So this is going to be a place where it consists of a lot of the legal, legal activities, and then you're going to need special tools like the Tor browser to access the dark web. Okay, cool. Now let's grab our flash USB with Tails OS, which is a portable operating system that saves nothing once you're done. And our laptop. Plug in the USB, go over here in the top right, and then quit, and then reboot it, and then just spam F12 so that way we can go straight to the BIOS. Select our USB, so Ubuntu, this is not going to be the one we're using, so scroll down, and then Olympus Lite USB flash drive, go ahead and hit enter, and then now we will boot into Tails, as you can see, just hit enter. Now we see welcome to Tails, we'll just go ahead and hit start Tails, go up to the toolbar, and then We'll go ahead and look for Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi not connected. Let's go ahead and select the network. Wi-Fi honeypots our network. You see Wi-Fi honeypot connected. And then it'll give us the Tor connection to the Tor browser. Before we launch our Tor browser, let's get into the boring part. Tor works by bouncing your internet connection through a global network of relays or servers, making it difficult to trace your online activities back to you. So this process helps to anonymize your web browsing making it hard for websites, advertisers, and others to track you online. Now let's go ahead and just do connect to Tor automatically. We don't need to configure Tor bridge. We don't need to check this box. So just connect to Tor automatically. And then start the Tor browser. Now that it's all loaded up, let's go ahead and go over here, go to settings. So we're going to add an extra layer of security and disable JavaScript for running. So go to the safest option. That way, just so we don't get hacked by visiting the wrong site. And then now we should be good. So this is your Tells OS. Let's go ahead and go to our favorite search engine or our search engine of choice. It's going to use DuckDuckGo, but you can choose this one. So this one's going to be Amiya or Amaya, however you want to pronounce it. This is going to be on the surface web because you see the .fi. But if you see the onion service over here, you see this long string of characters and then the .onion. So this is going to be the onion server or the server running on the dark web. These weird .onion sites, they're special websites accessible only through the Tor network. It offers anonymity for both users and website hosts. Now we are actually on the dark web. So if we want to look up Great Danes, for example, then you see a bunch of results over here and then you'll see all these dot onion sites. It's Anonymous Marketplace, Anonmart, Mixed Cracking Pack Tools, ATM Hacking Software, Hire Professional Hackers. So, you know, if you wanted to fall for an FBI honeypot, you don't see any Great Danes. Professional Hackers for Hire. So I don't recommend doing this, you'll get in trouble. But we can go ahead and close out Tor just because we're probably not gonna find Great Dane images on the dark web. And then once you're done, you can just go ahead and power it off, unplug the USB, close your laptop, and you're good. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to boost that algorithm if you know what I mean. And we'll see you in the next video.